Mike Petters was born on Christmas Day 1959 to Clem and Joan Petters. As the oldest of six children, he grew up on his father's cattle farm in Orange Grove in St. Joe, Florida. Mike attended Jesuit High School in Tampa, Florida, where he paid his tuition by working at the school and on his father's farm. His father advocated that they were lucky to be born in this country and need to pay it back through service. This inspired Mike, his four brothers and sister to serve in the military. Mike attended the United States Naval Academy, earning a bachelor's degree in physics and graduated with the class of 1982. He later earned an MBA from the College of William and Mary. He spent five years on active duty, first completing nuclear propulsion training. He then served aboard the USS George Bancroft as reactor control assistant, communications officer, and refueling officer. He continued to serve an additional five years in the Navy Reserve as a submarine control officer. Mike began his shipbuilding career in 1987 at Newport News Shipbuilding, where he was assigned to the Los Angeles Class Submarine Construction Division. He held numerous positions of increasing responsibility, including production supervisor for submarines and vice president of aircraft carrier programs. Starting in November 2004, Mike served as president of Northrop Grumman Newport News, which later merged with Ship Systems in Mississippi to form Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding. In March 2011, the shipbuilding sector became an independent publicly traded company named Huntington Ingalls Industries, with Mike at the helm as president and chief executive officer. Today, Mike is a leader of 38,000 men and women working at the largest military shipbuilder in the nation. Huntington Ingalls is the only builder of aircraft carriers in the United States, one of two shipyards building nuclear-powered submarines, and the builder of conventionally powered destroyers, amphibious warships, and cutters for the U.S. Coast Guard. Under his watch, some of the most complex ships in the world have been built. In fact, of the Navy's current fleet of commissioned warships, Huntington Ingalls Industries has built 100% of the aircraft carriers, 70% of the surface combatant ships, and 50% of the attack submarines. He has also been responsible for overhauls, maintenance, and repairs, as well as business and technology development. Mike also promotes several organizations and projects that advocate improvements in childhood development and education, including an achievable dream which he and his wife Nancy and their daughters and son-in-law support. He is also an avid water skier and one of his passions is teaching children to water ski. He serves on numerous boards and advisory positions including the U.S. Naval Academy Foundation, the Naval Aviation Museum Foundation, the Naval Historical Foundation, the Dolphin Scholarship Foundation, and the Aerospace Industries Association. Mike and Nancy have two daughters, Caroline and Sarah, and their family also includes Dan Fletcher, Sarah's husband and their son-in-law. He says that being a parent and a spouse are the most important things you'll ever do in your life. It's crucial to everyone associated with you that you get that right, and you have to work at it all the time. As a dedicated leader in Navy shipbuilding, Mike's efforts have contributed greatly to sea power and America's defense. The United States Navy Memorial presents the 2015 Lone Sailor Award to Mike Petters.